Nobody wants to talk about differences in races, you know. Nobody wants to believe that there are any differences that cannot be fixed by better education, better nutrition, less poverty, and the rest well, of it. This is Charles Murray, a social scientist notorious for his work that attempts to connect race with IQ, a long discredited theory that's been aptly described as racist pseudoscience, unfounded, and rooted in flawed methodology. Right now, critical race theory says, what else could it be except racism? that still explains these gaps and outcomes. And suddenly, it's all white's fault. It's, it's white supremacy, it's uh, white privilege, it's systemic racism. Well, part of it is a difference in the means and distributions of cognitive ability. Notably, Murray is neither a biologist nor a geneticist, but he's built his career arguing that social inequality is caused by the genetic inferiority of Black and Latinx communities women, and low-income people. So naturally, Tucker Carlson invites him on as a guest of the show. Hey everyone, I'm Melissa Bernardino. Thanks for being here. Tucker Carlson is never one to pass up an opportunity to endorse white supremacy. We decided to take a more detailed look at the link between immigrants and crime in this country. We really don't have good numbers on the crimes committed by immigrants, illegal and otherwise. Mexican citizens make up more than 14% of the entire federal prison population. Why is violent terrorism an inevitability in Europe? There are a lot of Muslims living in Europe now. Who would have thought that all those migrants are having a big effect on the crime rate? Foreigners come to our countries and kill our people. You'd think our leaders would blame them, but no, they blame us. According to Murray, disadvantaged groups are disadvantaged because they're unable to compete with white men who are intellectually, psychologically, and morally superior. In his article, Deeper into the Brain, Murray writes that getting the complete genetic story will reveal that people living in poverty in the U.S. have different genetics than people above the poverty line that people are born lazy, and that this isn't unimaginable, but almost certainly true. But he's probably best known for The Bell Curve, a book he co-authored with Richard Hernstein. In it, the two co-authors repeatedly cited Mankind Quarterly, a journal of racial history described by the New York Review of Books as founded and funded by white supremacists. The book concluded that America should stop trying to improve poor kids' material living standards because doing so encourages poor, low IQ women to have more children. But to Carlson, this isn't radical ideology, and it's certainly not white supremacy. It's center-right ideology worthy of amplification. You seem like a very moderate person. You're often described as a radical. Mm. You seem very center-right, as you said, not mm. a radical at all. And yet you are treated as a radical, big time. You heard it here. This man represents the center of right-wing ideology. 